because when we're on trails, not everyone rides the same speed. Sometimes the group will get a little bit separated, and that can get really dangerous if we lose one of you guys. You guys always have to make sure we're staying together. When you shift up a gear, it's actually going to shift down. It's going to make it harder to bike, and the chain cadence will be slower, making it more efficient when you're going down hills. So as you can see, it's going to a faster cadence, so it's going to be more efficient for uphills. You want to shift to a lower number when you're going uphills, and you want to shift to a higher number when you're going downhills. So you want to shift down. Yep, you see how you shifted all the way down here? See how his arms are fully extended, but not completely, they have a little bend here. He's arched over, his head's looking forward. This is what we call attack position. This is what you want to do when you're riding over obstacles. So for shifting gears, we're going to go up, we're going to follow those cones up the hill. We're going to go across the flat. And then right when we're headed down, we're going to stand up, get into attack position, and ride over the board, and just get in a circle and keep going around, all right? So Joe's going to show you how to do this two times. So you're going to get to the bottom of the hill, shift your gears, shift your gears so it's easier to get up the hill, just like that. You're going to shift back while you're up across the top, and right when you head down the hill, you stand up on your pedals, get into attack position. Keep going. All right, now stand up and go to your attack position. Good job. Now we're gonna teach you what feathering is. Does anyone know what feathering is? All right. Well, feathering is using your brakes and not just squeezing them down really hard. It's using them lightly multiple times to slow down. If you push your brakes down too hard too fast, you'll lock out the front and back wheel. If you do that to the front wheel, you're going to go over the handlebars. So you just want to lightly apply, apply pressure slowly so you come to a stop very smoothly. Yep, it's about gradually slowing your brakes down until you completely stop. But most of the time you don't want to actually stop and it's just used for slowing down. So we're going to practice feathering our brakes down this hill so we don't go too fast into the fence. So what we're going to do is we're going to ride from back here and we're going to go down the hill standing up in our attack position or seated, whichever one you like and we're going to feather our brakes, feather our brakes and then turn before we hit the fence. So we're going to be talking about how to corner a little bit more aggressively right now, okay? So, if you ever start racing, corners are generally one of the places people go and lose time the most out of any other place in a race. It is one of the easiest places to overtake someone, and so we're going to be showing you how to corner just a little bit faster. So, the first thing you want to start thinking about is you want to take the foot of the outside of the corner and put more weight on the outside foot than on the inside foot. The second thing you're going to be doing is taking your inside knee and pointing it towards the direction you're going. So you're going to open up the knee and in that same motion you're also going to take your hips and if you're turning left you're going to turn your hips left. Let me show you. So again, you're going to start, you're going to come. Safety is a priority for American Inline, and if you want to wear a helmet and gloves are preferable because if you fall, the first thing to hit your ground are going to be your hands. Um, so you want to look back every 20 or so yards, make sure you can see the last person in your group, 